copyrighted program created by Rio Grande. Los Angeles Police calling all cars, attention all cars, broadcast 300 regarding a murder. Be on the lookout for Yim Long, wanted for this killing. Described as Chinese, 5 feet 8 inches, weighs 145 pounds. That's all. Rolls and quits. When the great new all-purpose cracked gasoline was developed a few months ago, we little believed that public interest and patronage would be so quickly realized. And the great number of our new friends and customers are fleet operators who, like city, county, state, and federal officials, buy on tested performance and low cost of operation. I could fill this half hour with one testimonial after another, but here are three short, typical opinions. BL7, West Coast Trucking Company, Oakland. For the past 50 days, we've been using Rio Grande gasoline in all our trucks and passenger cars. We wish to state that this gas has proved superior to any of the other brands we've used. Red K. Balch of the Pomona Pump Company. I've put the new gasoline through tests comparable to those of your research department. I've noticed its superiority in starting, pickup, smoothness, and increased mileage. R.F. Landris of Sproul's Lumber Company. We found your new crack gasoline to possess exceptionally quick starting ability, smooth acceleration, and long mileage. We're pleased to endorse it as the most outstanding non-premium gasoline we've ever used. Ask your friends to try the new all-purpose Rio Grande crack. One trip to the red and white Rio Grande station, and they'll thank you for knowing the most highly recommended gasoline sold in the West. <laughs> around which tonight's story has been built, have been secured through the cooperation of the Los Angeles Police Department. We have therefore asked Chief of Police Arthur C. Holman to open our program. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Life in old Chinatown in Los Angeles was hidden from Occidental understanding by a veil of Oriental mysticism and intrigue. In one respect, however, it failed to vary from life in other parts of Los Angeles. For the people of Chinatown experienced the same emotions common to the Occident. They knew happiness and sorrow. They loved and hated. They lived and died, sometimes mysteriously. They brought with them many strange customs. One of the most intriguing of these customs was the no ee of slave girls. Tonight's story deals with one of these and with the efforts of the police to prevent a murder. But let's listen to the story as it unfolds and learn the outcome. The curtain of night had fallen over the Los Angeles Chinatown. An ancient and begrimed brick building presented a darkened front to Ferguson's Alley, the thoroughfare on which it faced. But inside and behind heavily draped windows, a soft light glowed in the room where two Chinese, garbed in Oriental dress, sat talking. And so it is settled that you return to China, Sing Chong? Uh, yes, Shu Hu Ying, my friend, tomorrow. I am old. My shoulders stand beneath the year. It is well. The gods have smiled on you through your many years. I know. And that is why I return to land of dragons, to worship at graves of my honorable ancestors, and to kneel once more before the altars of the ancient gods. Again, I repeat, you do well, Ting Chong. But uh, it is not your desire to return alone. No, it is not my desire. You would have for your companion, Fa Ling, my incomparable slave girl. I would. So, oh, yes. Yeah. But only if her price does not too greatly lessen the weight of my purse. Her price? <laughs> you can speak of price and at the same moment permit your lips to form the name of Pa Ling. Truly, Sing Tong, old age has indeed come upon you. You speak words of truth, Sir Ho Ying. I am old. Pa Ling is of the rarest and most delicate beauty. Young, schooled in all the arts of pleasure. Tell me how price of Ying. Falling is exquisite as lotus bud. She can bring many joyful hours to your old age. I will not bargain, Ching Chong. There is but one falling. There is but one price. 
play on chin. Two thousand dollars? Play on chin for slave girl for name? Oh, no, no. <laughs> mm -hmm. You are rich, Sing Chong. Perhaps if you were to gaze anew upon charms of my lotus blossom. But wait, I will summon her. It is not necessary. I fear our business has reached an unfruitful end. Have patience, Sing Chong. Let your eyes linger once more upon the loveliness that is falling. Time enough then to make your reply. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she is well trained, Sing Chong. You see? She does not neglect to refer to me as worshipful master. Would not such music be soothing to your ear? But they are falling. I bid you smile upon my friend, Sing Chong. Yes, Master. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ah, mm -hmm. She is indeed beautiful. Let it be a uh, Walk a little, falling. Yes, Master. Uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Great of motion. Great for that field of flowers, which we had yet to such a early morning. Mm -hmm. You find falling desirable? Uh, I do not this journey alone to land of dragon. Ah, uh, you are indeed wise, my friend. Darling, return to your room. I hear, Master. With your permission, I shall now take my leave, Soho Ying. There are many to whom I must yet bid my last farewell. Darling will be waiting when next sun brightens the heavens. I guard my slave girls well. <laughs> Here. 
Law Yi Chi Yuk Kung Yao. Good friend. And it'd be a good idea for you to stay that way, because the police are going to make an awful lot of trouble themselves if there's any more of this Tong War business. Oh, no trouble, Hung Chao. Tong Wen's very good friend. Well, that's fine. Who's the old fellow over there? Kong Li Ye? Yes, him, Kong Li Ye. Good. You better ask him a few questions, Silkus. Come on in. Get an eye full of that knife the old fellow's honing. Uh huh, I have. And if I ever saw a wicked looking piece of steel, that's it. Wang Li, what's all this about your wife, Ming Chung, being kidnapped? No, sorry. Sure you do. Now tell me, where is she? No, sorry. Guang on Helen. I'm not telling your troubles to the police, eh? Kong Li uh, speak only Chinese, Um Chow. Him no savvy. Well, you savvy, all right, Yim Lung. What's this story about his wife being kidnapped? No kidnapped, Ming Chung. Ming Chung, all right. She, uh, uh, she... She's just gone on a little visit to some friends, I suppose. Yes, that's right. Yes, she go visit. No trouble. It's a pretty villainous-looking knife Kwong Li has there. What's she going to do with that dyed off? Him or him just yuk da, meat knife. Ah, uh, yuk da, eh? You're sure it isn't a knife but Chinese meat? No, no, Chinaman make no trouble. No tongue fight. You're not fooling anybody, you know, Yim Lung. I know just as well as you do that there's bad blood between the chi yuk and the lawyer. Oh, no, no. And since I've been here, I'm convinced that Kwong Li's wife, Ming Chung, has been stolen. If any trouble starts, Yim Lung, you're going to have to answer for it. Oh, no trouble, Um Chow. Big mistake. Someone tell you bad dream. You're the leader of one of these tongs, Yim Lung. It's up to you to keep the peace. Now, just remember what I said. That's all. Oh, very much peace. No trouble. Let's go, Baggett. Thank you. It appears, Lin Lung, to be special delight of foreign devil police to cast their shadow over the justice of our people. You speak words of truth, Kong Li, yes. But in case of stolen Ming Chung, your wife, there shall be no interference with that justice. Soon we shall know the name of the one who has desecrated your house. Then retribution shall be swift and sure, my friend. You have my word. I shall know no peace until such time as Ming Chung is returned into my keeping. I understand, Kong Li, yes. For even as you love Ming Chung, so do I love Pa Ling, the slave girl of Su Hu Yi. You have youth, Yim Lung. It is right that you should love. Also have the gods seen fit that she should smile on me. You are most fortunate. And so this Su Hu Ying will not sell his little no ease. One does not sell a priceless jewel, Kong Li, yet. A pearl that is beyond price in hands of a wise man may yet be a worthless toy in hands of fools. You who have not seen Fa Ling cannot know her delicate beauty, her celestial loveliness. And Su Ying, who has seen her often, may be equally ignorant of the qualities of which you speak. You believe he would sell Fa Ling? I am old, Yin Lung, and I have learned that one must first ask before he may receive an answer. Also, there are few masters who will turn their backs when a proper offering is made for a slave. May the gods smile richly upon you, Kong Li. You have brought me hope. My little prisoner, Ming Chung, she is still unhappy. Her eyes are never dry, Master. You have seen that she has every comfort, Falling? Yes, Master. It is her wish that I carry a message to Guang Ye, her husband. Ming Chung has offered money, jewels, if I do her bidding. And you told her... I am obedient to my master. You refuse. It is well for you. It was also her wish that I inform some member of the Ji Yuk Tong that she is here. Ming Chung is very unhappy, Master. But not so unhappy as you, had you done as she asked. You have guarded Ming Chung well, Fa Ling, and you shall have your reward. My reward, Master? I do not forget those who serve me, well or ill. Yes, you shall have your reward. May, may I dare to ask... What it shall be, Fa Ling? Hmm. Why not? You are to have new master. A new master? Yes, darling. He come for you with morning sun. So tonight you may rest. You need not guard Ming Chung for our little prisoner of love. 
is no longer here. King Chung has escaped, Master? My slave girls do not escape falling. Ming Chung has been removed to a place of greater safety. For tonight the Tong men of the Chi Yuk prowl the streets in search of her. Chung Rato? Yes, falling? This, this new master. <laughs> My little lotus blossom would like to know his name. Curiosity poorly becomes a no yi falling. But, Master, I... Is it to Yim Lung you tell me? You love Yim Lung? I love him, Master. Have I not given you my word that you shall have your reward, Falling? It is because I have learned of your love for Yim Lung that tomorrow you shall be sold. <laughs> tomorrow you shall tell me to Yim Lung. Oh, Master, may it go. Tomorrow I shall tell you, Falling, but not to Yim Lung. Not? You have been fatal to my house, Falling. Behind my back, you have given your smiles to Yim Lung. But I love him, Tung Goto. And because you love him, your just punishment shall be the more bitter. For now, you are caught in the spider's web of your slide, the sheep, Falling. Master. Tomorrow, you become the slave of Sing Chong. And tomorrow, you shall sail for the distant shores of China. China? No, Master. For no. you who have lived your life in America, China will not be pleasant. Especially will it not be present in the house of the aged King Chong. No, no. <laughs> and never, my little pear blossom, never again in this life shall you set your eyes upon your lover. On my knees, so not all. I grovel at your feet. I leave you now, my little Noye, safely locked in your room. May your dream be more pleasant. Oh, oh. <laughs> Have patience. I saw you. Why do you come here, Yim Lung? With your permission, Su Hu Ying, I come to ask if little slave girl Fa Ling is for sale. Fa Ling shall be sold, Yim Lung. But not to you. I have money. All the treasure of the Forbidden City would not suffice if you were her buyer. Have I in some way offended you, Su Hu Ying? I have no further word with you, Yim Long. But I have further words with you, Su Hu Ying. Even though you sell the little Pa Ling to someone other than I, it is still my purpose to have her. Perhaps. But if so, you will journey far. For tomorrow, Yim Long, Pa Ling departs from America forever. You lie. Your choice of words is unfortunate, Yim Long. You will observe the outline of gun within my sleeve. Gods have not seen fit to endow me with patience which graces so many of our race. I shall not forget this occasion, Su Hu Ying. We shall meet again. And uh, when that time comes, Yim Long, you shall take your place within the tomb of your dishonorable ancestors. Pauline! Pauline, wake up. Come to the window. Who? Who is it calling to me? Pauline, come to the window. Oh, oh, it is you, Yim Lung. Unlock the window, little blossom. Yes, yes, Yim Lung. Yim Lung. My little blossom. My little Fa Ling. Oh. We must be quiet. Su Hu Ying must not know. Su Hu Ying. It was he who stole the wife of only Ye. I know, Fa Ling. He thought to find a place of greater safety for Min Chung. So she left his house tonight. That is true. But how could you know? The Tongmen of Chi Yuk are alert, little flower. Ming Chung has been returned into the keeping of her husband. Su Hu Ying should employ greater judgment in the selection of his henchmen. Ming Chung is safe, Ming no, I am glad. But now we must hasten, Fa Ling. There is a ladder to descend. And once free of this house of ill fortune, you shall belong to me, little blossom. To me alone. And, and there shall be no journey to China with Sing Chong? In its place shall be the journey to happiness with Yim Lung. Seriously, do I go with you, Yim Lung? For now I shall be your No Yi. No, Fa Ling. You shall not be the No Yi of Yim Lung. 
We shall kneel together before the gods and make our vows. You, you mean I am to be your wife? Yes, little Lotus Blossom. I mean you are to be my wife. The door is not locked, and when Su Hu Ying enters, he shall gaze upon your beauty for the last time. You mean to kill him? No, you no. You cannot... Silence! You will do as I command. I take my position against the wall. This hammer ready in my hand. When the door shall open, it will conceal me. Oh, Harling, it was true. You were here. I find you at last. Su Hu Ying, you have a gun. You are going to kill me? No. This gun is not for you, no ye. One does not destroy beauty with gun. That is beauty of knife. Tell me, Falling, where shall I find Yim Lung? You shall find him directly behind you, Su Hu Ying. Do not turn about. Oh? Then this clever little scheme is of your devising, Yim Lung. So, I had not thought that you were so... No! Oh. Oh. Yim Lung, you have killed him. Not yet, little Blossom. He is stunned only. Have patience. The knife, Kung Lie. It is here, Yim Lung. Now it remains only for you to loosen his collar, my friend. And the head, if it will pull back just a little farther... Not yet. And now I strike to kill so oh! The pain has been removed from the house of Kong Liya, and the god of justice is avenged. <laughs> Following Su Hu Ying's disappearance, friends and relatives carried on a quiet investigation of their own for a number of days without notifying police. And then, six weeks after the murder, the dismembered body of the slain Chinese was discovered by employees in the baggage department of a depot in San Francisco, wedged into an unclaimed trunk. The trunk was traced to Los Angeles, where Detective Lieutenants Baggett and Filkus finally succeeded in locating the expressman who had carried it to the local depot. You're sure the trunk you identified was the one you handled for the Chinese girl you told us about? Sure, I'm positive about it. What makes you so sure? Well, for one thing, it's a funny-looking trunk, and I'd never forget that Chinese girl. She was a beaut. Uh Uh-huh. This here's the room. You're sure this is the room, huh? Yeah. Don't be joined, ain't it? Hey, look here, Baggett. Somebody's cut the center right out of the carpet. Why do you suppose anybody want to do that? I don't know. Let's have a look at it. Hmm. I think I begin to see now what the reason was. It looks like some sort of stain around the edge of the cut. Unless I'm badly mistaken, no stains of blood. Mm-hmm. The center of the rug was soaked through, so they cut it out. Right, George, I believe you're right, Focus. You can go now, old man. We'll call you if we need any additional information from you. Who, me? Yes, you. But things are just beginning to get interesting. Yeah, I know. That's why we think it'd be better if you'd leave. We can't let anybody in here until the investigation is over. Well, okay, but... I wish you'd let me stick around. Sorry, but we can't do it. Yeah, okay. So long. So long. Thanks for helping us. Well, doesn't look like there's any mistake about this being the room where Su Hu Ying was killed. I agree, but why? What was he killed for? You suppose the trouble between the Chi Yuks and the Lo Yi Tongs had anything to do with it? Hardly. Su Hu Ying didn't belong to either Tong. Well, what about the kidnapping of Ming Chung? That might have had something to do with it. It's just possible that it might have been Su Hu Ying who kidnapped Ming Chung. He had a weakness for pretty faces, you know. Uh, I begin to get it now. Because if that was the case, then it would be up to Yim Lung to avenge the kidnapping, since Kwong Li Ye and his wife were under Yim's protection while they were in Los Angeles. Exactly. Another thing, Yim Lung, 
Huang Li and Fa Ling have all disappeared. Well, that's true, but even if we find them, there's not a chance of making them talk. And this doesn't go with Chinese. The men won't talk, maybe, but the slave girl might. Well, then the first thing to do, as I see it, is to find Fa Ling. Dulcus and Baggett notified law enforcement agencies throughout the state and as a result uncovered the trail of the missing Fa Ling. Within four days after the finding of the body of Su Hu Ying, she was arrested in Visalia, California and returned to Los Angeles. Dulcus and Baggett persuaded her to reveal the hideout of Yim Lung. Down this hall, Fa Ling. Yes, Yim Lung was Yim right here. How did it happen you and Yim Lung didn't stay together instead of you going away? Because... We think nobody knows this one China girl travel by herself. Then by and by, when police stop looking, Yim Lung follow me. You should have stayed here, Fa Ling. I doubt if the police could have found this place. Maybe the police not find me here. But the friends of Su Hu Ying, they would find me. There's three doors here at the end of the hall. Which one is it, Fa Ling? It is this one, Hong Chao. Hong Chao. Open the door, Yim Lung. What want, Um Chow? My, uh, my lord. Well, so Kwang Li Ye here too, is he? That saves us a lot of trouble. Why you come see us? Yim Lung, you and Kwang Li Ye are under arrest for the murder of Su Hu Ying. No, Chave Su Hu Ying murder. Go, Um Chow. I think maybe you... Ah. Falling. Ah. Yim Lung. You, you bring Um Chow to me. Do you hate me? There was no other way. They try to steal our happiness by being wicked. The gods, they have frowned upon us. It is fate, Lin Lung. I think maybe you are right, little blossom. The gods have frowned. Please, please, Lin Lung, do not hate me. Hate you? How can I hate you, my little farling? Lin Lung, I will not leave you. I will wait in you. If you must face the white man's law, I will be near. And always I will be true. And maybe someday, someday, you know. Maybe someday the gods will smile again, little blossom. It is written, only eyes that have held tears may see the rainbow. <laughs> moment, we shall hear the concluding facts regarding our story. Remember, a man is known by the company he keeps, and the product is known by the people who buy it. In a market full of gasoline, select the one that is most highly endorsed, most consistently used, not by just anybody, but by those who know the best and buy the best. Rio Grande's new, all-purpose, cracked gasoline. And now, keep home Yim Wong was tried and found guilty of murder and received the sentence of life imprisonment in San Quentin Penitentiary. It was impossible to connect Fei Ling and Kwang Li Yet directly with the murder, although the old man was later deported. Regardless of our sympathetic feelings in the matter, Yim Wong was another crime that failed to pay. Thank you, Chief Holman. Attention all cars, a cancellation broadcast 300 regarding a murder. Suspect in this case is now in custody. That's all. Rolls and quits.
next week at this time, Rio Grande will present Six 